a cop in here. Greetings, Brother Dragon. Well, now, got the stuff? Of course. Open up. Come on. Mm. <laughs> well, here you are. Looks good, eh? And it ought to. That's 13 robberies. Mm. Good. Very good. Well, let's split it up. Everyone gets a share. And me, too. The coffin's yours. I take the rest. Who are you? I am Chin Chu Ying. Oh? <laughs> so you're the famous law officer from Hunan, are you? Why are you scared of showing your face? You should be proud of yourself. Thirteen robberies in six months? Well, you found me. You deserve something. <laughs> Since you recognize my martial arts style, I'm afraid I shall have to kill you now. Swordsman-style handbook. 
That was my reward for managing to solve that case. In fact, I wanted to give it to that one-armed swordsman. But then, after rescuing me, he simply disappeared. I tried to insist. But he said that I ought to keep the book myself. His theory was that as a lawman, I did a lot of fighting. And it's possible that one day I might be crippled, perhaps lose an arm. And therefore, he thought it could be useful for me to keep it. Oh? Hmm. I guess that one-armed swordsman must be a first-class fighter. Hmm. <sighs> Even so. I never found out what his name is. Oh, I do know for a fact, in these parts, there are at least two one-armed swordsmen operating here. Maybe more, too. And one is named Fong Peng, and the other named Li Ao. And both of them are first-class fighters. Teacher, do you know who this brother dragon is? He escaped from me, I'm afraid, while I was being rescued. And since then, I searched everywhere, but found no trace of him. They all say that you were once Shaolin's top swordsman. In that case, how come that he beat you? That man is very cunning. What's more, his kung fu is second to none that I've ever seen. Oh, teacher. Well then, of all the famous fighters, has anyone lost an arm or a hand recently that you know of? Don't think so. But I checked everywhere for such a man. In fact, I even thought at one time that he came from Shaolin. But still... <laughs> Surprise, huh? <laughs> I bet I'm the last one you expected. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Master was here. Yes, your teacher's dead. But you will have to be brave, though, just like he was. Get up now. You've got to find that one-armed murderer for me and avenge teacher. I don't care whether he has one arm or whether he has three arms. I promise you he won't escape from me. Yeah, 10 caddies of beef and some wine, 30 bottles. Huh? But, sir, that's too much. Hmm. Hey! Gentleman wants 10 caddies of beef and 30 bottles of wine. Well, must be crazy. Yeah. We'll go and serve it to him. Yeah. Hey, not the old wine. Open a new jar for him. Yes, all right. You watch those kids. Oh, God, can't you do what I say? I said don't play here, that right? Why are you doing it? <laughs> Get out! Do what I tell you and play outside. <laughs> <laughs> Think you're pretty good with that one arm. Well, even if you had three arms, you couldn't escape from Master Wah's little trap. Sure you got the right man. <laughs> Your name Fong Peng? That's right. And you killed Constable Chin Chu Ying and did 13 robberies in six months. Is that right? Would you believe me if I said no? So what you mean is that you deny it. All right. If I don't deny it... Right. So it was you. Well, to me, this isn't new. Many places, many times, I've been falsely accused. I'm quite used to it. So you see, I don't care. Just try what you like. <laughs>
pour out the wine in two bowls. I'll drink, and you'll drink. And if you don't... Uh, 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 yes. Yes. Some more. It's no fun here. So take your ball and get out and go play somewhere else. Too many grown-ups here. When people grow up, then they get nasty. So off you go. Well then, you can start now. To the first one. Good health. It seems I must drink all by myself. Ah! <laughs> To attack without knowing the enemy's strength is foolish. After being warned, to still attack is stupid. People who are that stupid just don't deserve to live. But strangely though, one does find people who are that stupid. Hold it. Master Waz here. Let's fight. Fight! Oh. Stop fighting. Good. Great fighting. Good kung fu. Good advice. My name is Wa. The one they call Wa the Fox. Right. At least that's my nickname. Chin Chu Ying was my brother. Well, if you believe that I was his killer, why don't you fight me? <laughs> because if you really were his killer, none of these fools would still be alive. However, I still think you could have explained and avoided all this business. My conscience was quite clear. I know I'd done nothing, so why should I have to explain? You say you didn't do it. How do we know that's true? I know it. Are you sure of that? I'm sure, because this man's arm was different from the killer's. How is it different? Uh, well, his arm, uh... It's different. I do know that. <laughs> well, I don't care. He's still a suspect. And until we do have the killer, then this man is still the main suspect. 
And if we don't find anybody else, then as far as I'm concerned, he's the killer. Huh. For after all, he is a one-armed man. But even so, there are other one-armed fighters in this part of the country. And I know that. There is another, and his name is Liao. Hey, and this Lee must be the one who did bad things, using your name. And I'm hoping that you're going to help me find him. And you will, won't you, mister? Just me. Thought you were him. Oh? Him? Who's him? Him is him. Oh. Well, how come the mistake then? Because... Hmm? Because he's one arm too. Well, who is this man? I'll tell you. I just knew that you would come. Right. What were you frightened about? Getting fat? All right, I'll help you eat. I wasn't frightened of anything. And why not? I'm quite safe. But I do know a man who'll lose his life. Oh? This man, who is he? It's you. You could call for help, too, but I doubt that anyone would come. Would you like to know why I want to kill you? What my reasons are? I'd be extremely interested. <laughs> you know why. You've committed too many crimes, so why shouldn't you die? I did hear of a man, a brother dragon, who recently pulled off 13 big robberies all around here, and he hasn't been caught either. And like me, he's one-armed. Huh. Well, you're getting close. Anything else? I hear that a well-known law officer, Chin Chu Ying, was killed by some one-armed man. Huh. And you think that these crimes were all committed by me? Huh. Well, wouldn't you, in my place? I, I just know. You're stupid. Do you really think your men can beat me. Huh. You may well be right. But let's find out, though. Hi! <laughs> 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 
Let her go. Let me see. Who could you be? I'd say to guess, why the fox? That's right. Well then, as you must have arranged this, and as you want me, why don't you fight? Hmm. Well then, where's your other arm? Ashamed of it? Hmm. Well, where's yours then? <laughs> no, not him. Why not? Well, Brother Dragon is missing his right arm. But he's not that simple. How do you know that Brother Dragon has no right arm? <laughs> hey! You can't just leave like that! Hmm. What now? There's no need to chase him. You see, somebody else will. Well, how did I know Brother Dragon had lost his right arm? <laughs> I saw it happen. That's how I know. Still, thought it best not to tell that girl. <laughs> Saw it happen? What did you see? <laughs> I've seen so many things. Do you think that I'm going to tell you everything? Brother Fong! Brother Fong! Brother Fong! You can go. You won't fight? Wah well, fights pretty good. You found him a handful. So you must be fairly tired. And because of that, you won't fight. You'd be at a disadvantage. I don't want that. I'll meet you tomorrow. Fight then. How do you know? I'll be there. I think I can trust you for that. <laughs> right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Where have you been to? I was looking for you. But then, right now, I'm looking for that Lee. Got some questions. Know where he is now? Can't they wait until tomorrow? What for? <laughs> Maybe somebody will have killed him by then. Want him now. Oh. 
Well, now, so you've come back, huh? I'm afraid you're a bit late. Oh? You see, Mr. Liao has left now. And not only him, but your friend Miss Ting Yu has also left as well. How did you know that I was looking for her? <laughs> Mr. Fong, everybody knows how you met her. I mean, the story about how you saved her whole family once. At Tai Lake, wasn't it? And she wanted to marry you. Instead, you adopted her as a blood sister. You felt you shouldn't get married. Well, at least, so the story goes. I wasn't looking for Miss Ting, but Sao Pao. Sao Pao? You mean my brother's young student? That's who I mean. He's the only one who has seen the killer. Even so, he only saw the killer's arm. That's good enough. It may help. So let him see Lee's arm. See if he remembers that. Oh, I can't. He's just a young kid. And something like that could frighten him. And anyway, he's sick now. Mrs. Son is looking after him. She has two kids herself. So she is experienced. He's in good hands. She's also experienced in murdering people. Huh? Uh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> G'day, g'day, sir. <laughs> Have a seat. Come on. <laughs> sit down, sit down. <laughs> now then, uh, what would you like, huh? <laughs> Ten carries of beef. And some wine. Thirty bottles. Yes, 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 yes. Hey! Ten Kelly's the best beef and thirty bottles of wine here! Ah! <laughs> Evening. Have a seat. Sit down. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> now, sir, what would you like? Ten carries of beef and some wine. Thirty bottles. Uh, uh, but, sir, all that food, it's too much. If others can eat it, why can't I? Uh, sure, 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 sure. Uh, uh, hey, ten caddies of best beef and thirty bottles of wine. Hey, coming up, sir. Here you are. <laughs> And here's your wine, sir. Here, sir. Your sister keeps following me. What she want? Where is she now? I have no idea. Now, bye, sister. Hey, what does she want? Why does she follow me? Huh. I guess you ditched her then. She couldn't keep up. Didn't have a chance. <laughs> hey. Our fight isn't till tomorrow. No reason to fight now. So let's have a drink. Like there, it is now. Uh, just now, I saw some fellow hiding behind the door there. Uh, uh, I think he's the one who did it. Master, let's go and chase him. Uh, hurry. Well, why should I? 
I've killed lots of men. So it's natural that men want to kill me. <laughs> yeah. But right now, you can't die. Why not? Men like you are hard to find. If you die, then I'll have no opponent to fight tomorrow. <laughs> You're right. We'll fight tomorrow, and I'll be there. But right now, let's be friends. Have a drink. Tomorrow, we may both be dead. Sir! Here you are, sir. Here's your wine. Where's the noodles? There we are, sir. Noodles coming out. There we are. Ah. The waiter. Coming, coming. <laughs> Ghosts of Ying Shan. <laughs> They're much reduced. Only half left now. You killed half of them? Ah, I remember. It's all because of that girl, Ting Yu. Because of her, they want revenge. That's none of your business. Get lost. Well, you're wrong there. It is. <laughs> I mean, if they kill you, who will I fight? It's most inconvenient. Right. <sighs> I take it that you're in. I sure am. Drink from the jars. All right with me.
Not bad. Quite a good fight. But I'll fight tomorrow, though. It's gonna be a lot better than that one was. So then, you ought to get to bed, get some rest. <laughs> and me? I'll find a place to get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> bright and early. Not again. Yell all you want. You won't catch me again. I'm not that simple. Help me! No good. Yell as loud as you want. Nobody's gonna help you. Not even your Lee Owl. Like they say, you should never cry wolf. Not unless there's one really there. Falling for it again. But still, this will be the last time. Oh, I never believed that you'd come for this time. I needed help. I really did. Who was it? Those damn ghosts again? Not a ghost. A man. And believe it or not, a one-armed man. I thought it was you. You see, if I died, Fong would think that it was you. Then he'd certainly kill you. Guess that was the idea. A good man never lives long. So you see, men like me never die young. We survive. But still, you're a good man. I didn't know that until now. Well, friend, you've been with me for a great many years now. Today, you do your best. I told you I didn't. Would you believe me? I only believe in one thing. What's that? Killers must die. Oh. <laughs> You've often killed. If one kills or not, one dies anyway. 
In any case, when we have our fight, everything is going to be settled then. Put her down. And draw your sword now. <laughs> no matter which one of us dies, this place is a lousy spot for it. I suggest, as we're homeless, while we're alive, we should find a pleasant place to die. All right. You pick yourself a good burial place. <laughs> Don't forget, it could be yours. Follow me. One-armed swordsman, <laughs> having a fight. This will be something that one really shouldn't miss. Yes, the fight of a lifetime. <laughs> I've killed you. I'll be real sorry. Draw your sword. All right. I'll make it fairly painless. A pity. What's a pity? A pity is the wrong man. Are you trying to say that this was a trap of yours? Of course. That's quite simple. I was faced here with a couple of first-class swordsmen. So the best thing was to arrange for you to kill each other. Just had to get you at each other's throats. And then the people will assume your brother Dragon and Chin's murderer and killed each other during a quarrel. 
<laughs> it's the old, old saying, to kill two birds with one stone. You probably realize by now that I'm a very devious and extremely tricky fella. Hence my nickname. It's a pity. A pity that you overlook one thing. In your great plan, there's one loophole. You couldn't expect that we two could possibly become good friends. It was obvious to me Fong was a pretty trustworthy man, and you were obviously not. He also forgot that only the good die when they're young. And someone like me doesn't leave the scene that easily. <laughs> You're pretty smart. It's like this. We had no proof against you. So then yesterday, I made a plan with Miss Ting to find Fong Peng and set this trap. And you stepped right into it. There's still one thing that I don't get. Hmm? He can't be the brother dragon. Yes, I know. He's a right arm. And our brother dragon has a left arm. So what puzzles me is how he fits in. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That's one thing you never will get. <laughs> Now look, he's mine, so just keep out of this. Don't worry, two against one isn't my style. You go ahead, I'll watch with interest. He's really a fox. Well, he's certainly smart. I suppose no one ever guessed that he was hiding his left arm. And I'll bet that left arm has killed a lot of men, too. Mm. Mm. We've got to get him, or else he'll kill a lot more. My God. I know who the next one is. Who? You go back. See a doctor. I've things to do.
Oh, Uncle Watt, you've come back. I'm so glad. That woman's been trying to kill me. She said I was sick, gave me medicine. But the medicine made me feel all weak. So these few days, when she didn't watch, I took the medicine and I put it all under the bed, see? But you really are sick. Oh? You need medicine. I... I really am sick? Hmm. You're very sick. Well, then, I'll, I'll go lie down, and I'll rest, and, and I'll take my medicine. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit late for that. Because you are going to die now. I, I, I'm too young. I can't die. I've done nothing. Why should I have to die? Because you're a good boy. Good boys always die young. I'm not good. I'm naughty. Please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Dragon lost his right arm. Wa still has two. So then, he can't be Brother Dragon. Right. But if Wa can hide his left arm, then he can also hide his right arm. Mm, right. So then, even if he's not Brother Dragon, he could have killed Chin. Right. Now, Chin was murdered because he knew who did those 13 robberies. And he must have known something about Brother Dragon. Right. So Brother Dragon wanted him dead then. That's for certain. Right. Because Chin knew something about Brother Dragon's background. So he had to die, in case he found out some more. Right. So even if Wa killed Chin, Brother Dragon was still behind it all. Right. Hmm. How do we all know that Chin was murdered by a one-armed man? Because Chin's young pupil saw it happen. He was actually there at the time. Well, in that case, why not kill the boy? Well, perhaps he wanted the boy alive. To testify, his teacher's killer was one-armed. Hmm. Right. Chin was a real expert. Only two one-armed men could have beaten him. And one of them's Fong Peng, the other me. So if we died, killed each other, end of case. And so they let the boy live. Until their plan succeeded. Then they'd kill him. But now they know their plan hasn't worked. And so, they don't need the kid now. He's useless. Right. And that's where Brother Fong will have gone to. Hmm. I hope so. The kid's dangerous. He's the only one who's seen the killer. And God help him, if Fong doesn't get there before Wa does. <laughs> oh, he's a problem. You're lucky that he didn't run away. Hey. How come you didn't bring your men along? <laughs> now, don't tell me. You want to be alone with me? Uh? Well, in a way, you could be right. I want nobody here. <laughs> and that includes you. Oh, 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 you. Oh. She was very naughty. She was sick, but she refused to take her medicine. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Then you shall swallow this pill right away. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Get out of here, go to Khao Sing. And look for the girl with bells on her wrist. Let's see you get away this time. Strange. Brother Fong knows that we'll be waiting here. Why doesn't he come? Is something wrong? <laughs> that lousy brother dragon. Where could he be hiding now? Listen, when your teacher saw the murderer, all he said was, it's you? Mm. And the killer said, ha ha, you're surprised, eh? The last one you expected. And he said nothing else? Nothing at all. And then he killed teacher with a sword. And your teacher didn't fight back? No, sir. But he was a good fighter. It's strange. Why didn't he put up a fight? That's because he knew the man. Therefore, he couldn't believe it, that it was Brother Dragon. That's why his dying words were, can't be, it wasn't him. That means he knew Brother Dragon as a good man. I mean, someone who never did anything bad. That's why he just couldn't believe it. Right. And before he left, the killer cut off the head of his partner. Mm. I was hiding. That's what he did. He cut off his head. But even if he wanted his accomplice dead, why should he cut his head off, though? Unless... Unless what? Well, haven't you ever wondered just how I knew that Brother Dragon lost his right arm and not his left? I did wonder about that. How'd you know? because I saw it once. One day, while I was wandering downtown, I saw this big funeral procession. I noticed that all the mourners were tough-looking towers, didn't look in the least sad. And their boots, they were all wearing fighting boots. Then I noticed the coffin. There was nobody in it. There was some name on it, but it was obviously a fake. It was a cover-up for something, though I had no idea what it was. I thought maybe an ambush. I knew it was something illegal. So then, I followed to the graveyard and saw what happened. Then I knew that although Chin was good, he couldn't beat Brother Dragon. So I was just going to help him. When on the scene comes Fong Peng to help. I decided to keep out and see what happened. But when Fong was fighting, I hold a rock at Brother Dragon. May have helped, I don't know. But who would have thought, though badly wounded, Brother Dragon was still quite strong. When he could, he made a break for it. Fong didn't bother to chase him. Guess he thought he was finished anyway. 
but Brother's Dragon kept going. I decided I'd follow him. to give up the chase. But why? Because he went into a place, a special place, where nobody would be allowed to follow him there. What was the place? Shaolin Temple. Shaolin, eh? Oh, my teacher studied there. That's where he learned his Kung Fu. A lot of teachers studied there, but it all hangs together. Your teacher knew his killer from there. That's why he was killed. Are you trying to say that Brother Dragon is a Shaolin monk? Hmm. Both of Chin's attackers were from Shaolin. That's why he had to cut off his dead partner's head. Ah, uh, because all the monks shaved their heads. If that had been found, the finger would have pointed straight at Shaolin. So accepting that he is a Shaolin monk, then that's that. There's no way we can find him. Nobody is allowed in there, except for the Shaolin monks themselves. Nothing we can do. And to break in is to die there. But couldn't you try to get in, though? Well, Shaolin is a big temple. It's quite the biggest and the oldest, too. And the students, my God, must be hundreds. To find one man would be hard. And even if I got in there, I have no proof. It's only my theory. And it's one they wouldn't like. <sighs> so then even if you got in, there wouldn't be too much chance of getting out alive. And when you consider how he fights, then in Shaolin, I should think he's quite senior. I made inquiries, thought he'd be easy to trace. But it's strange. Although I asked a lot of people, they all told me that in Shaolin, there's no one-armed men. <laughs> After all they say about Shaolin, to think that there's men like that in the place. It can happen. After all, it is a big place. But still, it isn't good, because it could affect Shaolin's reputation. That's why I haven't said anything yet. I mean, you're the first person. I think Brother Fang would feel differently. I reckon that he would go into Shaolin if it was necessary. Well, I'm not so sure. And even if he did go in there, how will he find the man that he wants? I'm sure he'll go, so why don't you go along too and help him there? I could help him eat the food there. I hear it's pretty lousy. He may die. <laughs> well, I can help him occupy more land there. I mean, when we're both killed, they'll allocate us some space in the graveyard. <laughs> you don't have to go. All right. If you insist, I'll make for Shaolin right now. You want to? Of course. <laughs> Who's that? Come on out. <laughs> In all its years. No persons have broken into here. So then, you're in real trouble. Now, first of all, lay down your sword. You are in a temple. No weapons are allowed.
All right. Now. an expert. Stay back. Go on. Yes. Right. Come on, quick. Come on. Come on. We can't stay here. Follow me. Right. Hold it. We have to report this to walk in and we'll see. They can't escape us. Shaolin men are pretty good fighters, but so unreasonable, they won't let you talk. Don't think it would do us any good, even if they did. I'm quite sure they won't believe us. Let's find Wa first, right? Now wait. They'll find us. Ah, they never come down here. This is the place where they keep the bodies before burning. We'll be safe here. How do you know? I know this place. <laughs> when I was looking for a one-armed monk, I worked here for a while. But you never found one? Mm, no. <laughs> There's all sorts. There's mutes, some deaf, without noses, without eyeballs, and hunchbacks. You name it, they got it. Except one our monks. So that means that we must find Wa first. And once we get him, then I'm sure. <laughs> It's quite obvious that Brother Dragon killed him. Hmm. I guess you're right. So that means he must be in Shaolin. What's more, if he got away with this, then he must have a lot of power. And so if he wants to kill us, he can do it. So then, there's only one thing to do. And what's that? Tell me. We go to the top. Somehow, we must see the chief abbot will sin. 
He used to study with Chin. I'm sure he'll help. How do we find him? Through the main hall. What's happened to all those monks who were here? Where have they gone? Something's wrong. Hmm. We're here now. Well, now, seems we walked into a trap. <laughs> you must be here for a reason. So please inform us of your purpose. I will then consider if you may leave. Lord, God bless you! We want to talk to Abbot Wu Xin. It's most important. The chief abbot never sees anyone. He's always meditating. But what if we insist on seeing him, though? That's quite simple. All you do is pass the test we give you, and then we'll show you in. <laughs> well done. Buddha bless you. Now try me. <sighs> I must admit that you fight well. It's my turn. Now I will fight. Get out the pole! Sir!
Paris. Buddha bless you. Buddha bless you. Please forgive us for what we've done here. No need for that. For you two men are great fighters. What I've said is the truth. I hope you believe me. Every word is true. You men would not have come here to lie. So then I must believe you. If what you say are the true facts, then Shaolin must take the blame. Because this man is our man. Therefore, I will myself investigate. But Chief Abbot, though, in our temple, we have no one-armed students, such as they say. Is he stupid? Or not stupid? We think he is. We may be wrong. I mean, who knows? Who is stupid? Think on that. Thank you, Chief Abbot. We understand. This way, please. I must admit, I don't get it. What did he mean then? You say you understood him. In the cave here, we have a one-armed monk. We've always thought that he's an idiot. So the abbot meant that possibly this man is faking it? Buddha bless you. Yes, you're right. That's what he meant. We'd like to talk to you. 
You've lost an arm. How was that? Uh, mm, arm? <laughs> yeah, you're quite right. It, it's gone. My arm. Uh, somebody took it. Uh, I forget just when. But who cares? It's gone now. <laughs> to Buddha. So you come here to worship, then? But this place isn't suitable for children, though. Oh, is that so? Well, I'm not a child, though. Brother Fong! Brother Lee! Tingling? So Pa. Let them come in. Uncle Fong! Uncle! Well, it seems that he fooled us for so many years. Who would have thought that he was a killer? But still, as he killed himself, he paid for it. Yes. Justice has been served. So that's the end of it. And we can forget it. As ye shall sow, so shall ye reap. As you have said, Justice is done. Justice. Justice. Buddha bless us. Buddha bless us. Buddha bless us. There is something else you can do. This young boy is an orphan and has nowhere to go. Could you possibly enroll him here, sir? Well, now, Xin Chu Ying studied here with me. His student shall become my student. Thank you, Abbot. Sapao. Hmm? Thank you, teacher. Now you're in Shaolin, you must work hard. I don't mind work. Good. First of all, we'll improve your physique. After that, we'll teach you Kung Fu. Good. I'll soon make myself stronger. him. You had to do it. You couldn't let him live. That's why we left him here with you, as a bait. But we watched him, though, both day and night, and it paid off. And we weren't absolutely sure that you yourself were the brother dragon. Luckily, you gave yourself away. Well, now, Jin Chu Ying studied with me, his student, 
shall become my student. You'd never seen the boy. How did you know that he was Chin's student? Chin Chiu Ying was horrified when he found out that his schoolmate was Brother Dragon. He just couldn't believe it. And that's why you had to kill him. And all this time, you hid the fact that you only possess one arm. Huh. This one is mine. You butt in. You're no friend. Seems to me I once said that to you. Trying to escape? Hey, listen. Lend him your sword. <laughs> My God. So even now, it has to be all fair. He fights just like me. Just who are you? So it's you. <laughs> of course it is. I imagine you realize now why it is that I fight exactly like you. Hey, you are! 
When men die, they tell the truth. So you do that. Tell us. For 40 long years, I chased thieves for a living. But I was paid less than a petty thief could earn. So I decided I had to change all that. You're wrong. Thieves don't live well. I know. They live in constant panic, and at night they can't sleep. I thought I had a perfect cover. No one would suspect that their law officers could be Brother Dragon. But unexpectedly, I was uncovered by the old Chief Abbot. I had grown up in a school here, and he recognized my technique. So he discovered your meeting place? And he waited for you there. He intended to reform me. But I managed to use him. To put you off and then to confuse you. Because I saw you there and guessed you might suspect me. You'd been drinking a lot. And you'd been following my men for at least two days and two nights. But we had no idea who you were, though. He thought you were my men. So he thought he'd better get back to the temple. And just after that, I sneaked into the temple here. I knelt down before him. I swore I'd repented. Uh, uh, then I pretended that I was going to kill myself. The chief abbot took pity on me, tried to stop me. And then when he got up close to me, I had a hidden dagger all waiting for him and killed him as he held me! What was your partner? You arranged with him to stage that phony killing. And you needed the boy to live. To spread the word that you'd been killed. And then you came back here as the abbot. The abbot was always in meditation. And so you were quite safe, because no one saw you. I set it up so that you two would kill each other. It should have worked. Chao Lin was mine. No one could stop me. <laughs> You've got to admit that it was a pretty good scheme that I had there. <laughs> it's... it's too... <laughs> it's too bad, but you forgot. You forgot that the gods may move slowly, but still, one eventually has to pay. No one's immune, not even you. I, uh, 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 I, 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 sorry, I did wrong. I'm sorry. Teacher. <laughs> Buddha bless you. Goodbye! 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 Well, Lee, the fight that we had wasn't very fruitful. But still, can't be helped. <laughs> You're right. So maybe we'll arrange something better one day. Keep that thought in mind.
Set to meet you tonight, midnight, June the 6th. Well, I'm on time. What do you want? Your life. I'm afraid that today you have to die. Cut the talk. Where's your sword? I don't need one. Not for this fight. So I didn't bring one. So you think you're that good? Well, all right then. We'll play your way first. That's how you're going to die as well. <laughs> Meng Sing Hung's dead? Where? By Willow Bridge. It seems a one-armed fighter killed him there. Meng was a damn good fighter. Was this one-armed man then? Don't know. He uses a special kung fu technique, and what's more, he also killed Lu Safong. Oh, where is he? Lan Valley. Lan Valley. Jasmine, ready? Sir! Move the cannon! Move Knight to protect King! Get out of here! Go on! Get out! <laughs> Stupid fool! Ready, sir? Jump one.
men. We've been waiting for you all day. We're gonna kill you. You use men instead of chess men. No value for human life. It's your chief who ought to die. You killed Mung Sing Hung? I did. He killed a man once and all his family. Do you know Mung Sing Hung was my relation? I know that you're related to many fighters. He was your son-in-law. Huh. Well, let's start. Will you choose Kung Fu or chess? If we must contest, I'll choose chess. You'll take black. I'll take white. All right? And the loser must kill himself. I've no quarrel with you. And I don't want to play chess. If you'll excuse me. Hold it! I'm not giving you a choice. Well, all right then. But who has the advantage of the first move, though? You? I'm oldest, so I'll start. All right. The men ready? Sir! It's your idea. <laughs> Right, Cannon, mount! My, my fort takes your cannon. <laughs> and my marshal takes your fort. Flying knight takes your man. You know a knight's not supposed to fly? Yeah, well, neither is a marshal either. Hold it! You get back. I need no help to fight you. I'm young. You're old, and I've no wish to kill you. Goodbye. <laughs> Saofeng were followers of Chu. You're not involved in this, so I only want you to tell me where I can find Chu now. You tell me that, then I'll leave. Sorry, I don't know. Well, I'll take your word for that. I trust you. I lied to him, and I was defeated by him. I've lost my reputation. All my men have seen what happened to me here. There's only one thing to do. Master! What? Are you sure of that? That one-armed man mentioned my name? Yes, sir. Han killed Mong. And Lu. Deliberately picked a fight. You know what his background is? Not yet. Hmm. They belong to my clan. And the Chu clan is the most powerful there is. I have some of the finest fighters. And nobody goes against me, not if they want to live. And now some one-armed nobody comes to challenge me. Fu Fai Su. Sir. Tai Liu Mo Chu. Here. Tai Hang. You will issue orders. 
I must find out who this one-armed man is. And quickly, too. Sir. Sir. Soft green mountains and blue waters. It really makes a beautiful picture, doesn't it? <laughs> You're right. And it's getting late. So we can watch the sunset together. I had thought of that. In fact, that's why I brought you. I'm very moved. <laughs> well, in that case, see it with me every day. You really love me that much, do you? I swear to you, by God, I do love you. That's why I'm doing this. To prove to you, I'm just sorry. I had to do this to you. Yes, tying me up out here doesn't really make me like you very much, at all. Promise to be my concubine. If you do, I'll let you go. I won't. You won't? <laughs> I'll leave you here for another 24 hours to let you think. Once you find out how hot it can get, you may change your mind. So I'll come back here at the same time tomorrow. You evil beast! <laughs> no, I'm not. If I really was, then I'd have raped you. See ya. Don't you feel too hot like that? It's warm. Well, now, if you were me, wouldn't you feel hot? <laughs> like some help? If you like, help me. If you don't, then don't. <laughs> Thank me if you like. If you don't, forget it. Who was it who did such a thing to you? Yen Si Su. Yen Si Su? Chu Clan? Oh. <laughs> Drink up. Drink up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on. Some food, huh? Hey, looks good. Hmm. Well, all right. Cheers. 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 There's a visitor. Where is he? Downstairs. Bring him up. Yes. <laughs> come, come on, Lily. Hey, have another little drink. Come on. Yeah, George. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on. <laughs> have fun. You looking for me? Well, tell me. Is she ready to come and live with me? If she does, I don't care. Have you got an elder brother? Right. One of the best swordsmen alive. Sorry. I'm afraid he met a better one and got himself killed. Huh. Now, I must tell you, your brother wasn't all that good a swordsman. Neither are you. Come on, come on.
What are you doing kowtowing to me? Practicing Kung Fu. Who are you? My name is Wong. I'm Wang Chi's brother. Heard of him? So then, you're Wong Pa. Right. Sometimes known as the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Suits you. For that poison, <laughs> you're going to die. How you feel? Lousy. I think there's a doctor nearby. I'll take you. Right. But that poison is a particularly bad one. Deadly. Two hours' time, he'd have been dead. So then, he's lucky. Uh, uh. Now, miss, come here. Oh. Huh. Give him this. That ought to help. Stop the pain and partially neutralize the poison. But he'll still need some medicine. Take with water. wasn't deadly at all. Just made him feel faint. He would have been all right in a very short time, but that pill of mine was different. And even I, with all the skill that I have, couldn't cure him now. <laughs> in fact, he has about one minute to live. <laughs> The Wang clan are not poisonous. The Chu clan does have an expert. And you were that expert. Save me. You saved me. Least I could do. So let's leave it at that. We saved each other. Oh. Are you hungry? Right. Come on. Let's eat. Sit. What's your name? Name's Lanan. Oh. First name's Sue. Sue Lanan. Sulan Lan. Pretty name, that. Suits you, too. Uh, you 
haven't told me what your name is. I'm sorry. My name's Lou. My full name's Lou Yi Su. Oh. Uh, where are you going? Well, in fact, I don't know. I've no family now. And no home. So then, I have no idea. If you didn't mind. Just for a while. I could go with you. Well, I don't know. Could be risky for you. Not a good idea. I see. You don't want me. Hey. <laughs> I'm Lu Sang Chu. I'm Lu Sang Chu. They say that you killed Yen Si and Wang Pa. <laughs> this one armed man. You traced his background yet? No. You any idea where he is now? All we know is that he's still in the country. Send Lu Tachar after him. already started. That's good. <laughs> Top killer, Lu Tacha. You're right. Who are you? Name's Chow Ito. Pleased to help you out. Well, all right. Why did you help me? You don't know me? Because two's killers are after me, too. You have a grudge against Chu? Hmm. From way back. You any idea where Chu is now? I've looked for him in every damn province. But I know someone who maybe could help. Perhaps you ought to go and see him. Who? He's called King Rat. He knows most things that go on around here. King Rat? Hmm. Why don't you ask? I tried it. Wouldn't tell me. Threatened him. He still said no. Where is he? I'd like to try. Well, there's a Taoist fortune teller. Who might just know that. Huh. He may not tell you. Too scared. In case they kill him. Well, I have to try. Lots of luck. Customers. Well, now, shall I tell your fortune? Well, that's not why we're here. Oh, oh. Well, what do you want? A man. Well, all right, then. You give me a clue, and I'll guess who. Sorry, that's my business. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll take you there. Hey, 
there, see? Sneak hook. Just watch, see? That particular technique is called the sneak hook. Yeah? Why? Well, all right, I'll show you, huh? There. See? <laughs> all right. There. You watch well, now. what else? This is King Rat's town. <laughs> Please. Please. Watch it. Huh? Watch. See? Oh, you want to talk to King Rat? Hey, who the? What? You King Rat? Yes, I am. Where's Choo Chi Ju? Huh? Choo Chi Ju? Well, now, telling you's risky. Why do you want him? Just want to talk. Huh? I'm what? Hey, speak. A killing. Tell me where he is, and I'll reward you well. Right. <laughs> well, all right. As you're willing to pay, good. Then meet me at the Flower Pavilion at midnight. here. I mean, he did promise. No! Oh! Oh! Where's our boss? Afraid somebody murdered him. Huh? You did. Why should I? It was Yun Sin who killed him. Yun is a spy for Chu. Call him out here. <laughs> Don't believe him. He's the one you want, right? Avenger boss. Unless you want to die, you better back off. Let's go! Where's the girl being taken? I don't know. Well, where's Chu? I don't know. Go on. He's a... Joe Ito, so it's you. Hmm, it's me. Well, tell me why you killed Hun Sin, then. Talk. Because I found out that he works for Chu. And because he was the one that killed King Rat. So I decided that it was time that he died. But where's the girl? Hmm? I see no girl here. Why do you hate Chu? What's he done? <clears throat> I fight good. I'm an expert. So five years ago, Chu invited me to work for him as a killer. I refused. And what is it he did to you to make you hate him so much? <sighs> My father was a loyal minister. And then when General Ho was planning his rebellion, he asked Dad to join, but Dad refused. Because General Ho then went and hired Chu Chi Ju. Chu had a reputation as a top assassin. Chu took his men, nine of them, and they wiped out most of my family. And all in all, they killed 80 of my relations in one night. 
Huh? And how did you lose your arm? My best friend. Caught me off my guard, that's all. Oh. So then, from then on, you trust no one. Oh. Well, you'll have to be good to beat you, for he fights damn well. But we could get him together. What do you say? Oh, no thanks. I prefer to work alone. Right. Then we'll see who gets to him first. Chow we tow? Who are you? I am Tai Li Wa, and I am one of Chu's men. He gave me personal orders to kill you. <laughs> you? Come outside. Get a clear space. Mistake. They all told me you were good. They were wrong. Is that so? I'll make you eat those words. You work for Chu, huh? <laughs> I feel you're not a good man. Well, before I was actually born. I was then, but not since. Who are you? Your friend. Don't want to seem rude. But I don't need any friends right now. But then, you will someday. And the day you do, I'll be there. I shall suddenly appear. of death in the way you play. Seems to me there's hatred in your heart. But perhaps I'm wrong. Anyway, you're waiting for somebody. You're nearly right. Well, I won't bother you. I think you're looking for someone. And how did you know that? I don't think that's important. I simply know. All right, so tell me then. The man is at Shenshu Monastery. His name's Monk Yu Wa. And he'll tell you anything that you want. You just have to ask him. But still, why should I trust you? You don't have much choice, do you? Goodbye. Thanks. You mean he killed Tai? He actually killed Tai Li Kwai? Yes. Tell me, Mo. 
Do you know why he's killing all our men like this? They say that he's the son of Minister Lowe. That's right. The son of the late minister. The only one of the family to escape. That's why he has to die. Right. Any idea where he is now? He's heading for Shenshu Temple. And where's Tang Han? Well, now, I'm not sure. But he was supposed to be trailing him, waiting for a chance to get in. Well, I can't wait for that. We have to act now. Pass the word to all our men. I want that one-armed man killed and fast. Sir. I've been waiting quite a while. Now, let me guess. You must be Fu Pai Su. You've heard of me? Sure I have. The man who in one stormy night killed seven top fighters. My fist will do. We'll see. Hi! <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> that right? Yeah. Oh, right. The man who won't bow, that right? Mm hmm. Right. <laughs> the Chu Clan Four Killers. Hey, he recognizes us. Hey! <laughs> should be called the Four Chu Clan Clowns. Don't you agree? Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, we agree.
Sorry, got the wrong place. Which place do you want? Shen Temple. <laughs> this is it. I want Monk Yu Wa. You here? What's your business? Someone told me that he could give me some information. <laughs> He's gone. Well, finding you here, I assumed he'd left. <laughs> I am Monk Yu Wa. I won't tell you anything, but I'll kill you. You're not a monk. Oh, why not? If you're a monk, temples must have changed a lot. He is a monk. What's more, he is a man, yet also a girl. Let's say just a little of both. <laughs> and a friend of mine. Oh, so then you're a Yang Chi. Right. One time, I was a nun. But then I left the convent. Now I live with him. But still, why'd you send me here? I couldn't kill you by myself. So I needed some help. And who better than my friend? Simple. You were wrong. You two can't kill me. Hey, that's what you think. You've too much confidence. You only have one hand. Between us, we've got four, right? Disgusting creature. Why are you always hanging around? Well, that's simple. Because I'm your friend. I've told you, you're not. If I were to tell you where you could find your enemies, would you change your mind and take me as your friend? Sure. In that case, I would. Then I'm your friend. To celebrate, let's drink. All right. Yeah. Three years ago, Chu was hired to kill your family. And he did it. Not alone. He took nine of his best men. 
Who were they? Meng Sing Hu, Lu Xiaofeng, Lu Yan, Yan Si Su, Yu Wah and Chu Lu, Fu Pai Su, and Mu Fei Do, and one more. And just who was this other one? What's his name? <laughs> He's Tang Han. He didn't want to go, but Chu made him. Matter of fact, I've killed five of them. You know? Sure, there's still Chu Lu. Mu Fei Do, Lu Yan, and Tang Han. Just four. Would you like to know where they are? Yes, I would. Mu Fei Do stays in the camp. And Chu Lu in the brothels. Lu Yan lives alone. And Tang, I'm afraid I don't know. Oh. I think you kill Chu Lu first. And then go to Qian San to get Lu Yan. After you get them, I'll wait for you at Pai Si Po and tell you the next one you ought to kill. <laughs> Do you know which brothel Chulu goes to? Spring House. Quite early tonight. He'll be there. Good night. Come the kids. Thank you, come again. <laughs> huh? Oh, sir. Oh, it's you, sir. Welcome, Mr. Chu. Please come in. <laughs> hey, Mr. Chu's here. Nice. I'll take well, all right. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> well, now then, you're here. What's your plan? Same as. <laughs> Please come in, Mr. Oh. Chu. I'm new here. Never been here before. And one girl's enough for me. So pick a girl. And any one will do for me. <laughs> a client to <still> work. <laughs> well, I notice you've only one arm. Too bad. With two, you'd handle more. <laughs> well, go on. Entertain our guests. Sure. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Look after your client now, huh? Sure. Please, sir, come with me. <laughs> Back to the door. Yes, ma'am. This way. It's much more interesting there. Come on. <laughs> well, come on, let's undress. No, thank you. I'm on business. <laughs> sure. I mean, we're both on business. But to do it, we have to undress. Well, when I said business, I didn't mean that. <laughs> well, you can call it what you want. As for me, I call it fun. Now, let's not waste time. <sighs> right. Get undressed. Sure. <laughs>
Looking for me? Hmm. Seems you've finished your business. Well, now, that didn't take too long. Hmm. Well, it seems she failed. I guess she's dead. And now you've come here for me. Is that right? Right. Mr. Lou, is he home? You a swordsman? No. I'm just a traveler. You got business with him? Of course. Sure I have. Take me. Visitor. Well, you must be the one who escaped us. It's a pity we missed you. You still remember the affair. And now you've retired and live up here. <laughs> well, I've retired from fighting. But since you insist, I guess that I'll need my sword again. Sir, so, bring the sword! Admit, that's long. How long? Six feet. Width? About 12 inches. Well, Mr. Lou, that's a great sword you have there. <laughs> sure it is. It's the best, and there's none better, for sure. <laughs> and in a very short time, you're going to find out how great it is. <laughs> Size of sword doesn't matter. I shall let you use two more blades. After that, no more chances. Then I shall kill you. <laughs> what really counts isn't the sword, only the man. In every case,
Master, you love swords. But finally, your own sword killed you. Very good. So you killed another two of them. Tang Han, you can kill any of the others, but you can't kill him. <laughs> it seems I was right. You must be Tang Han. Yes, you're right. I'm Tang Han. You'd kill me, huh? That's what I said. <laughs> but you won't. If you do, you'll never find Chu. <laughs> How do I know? But you'll tell me. I'm finished with you. I doubt it. And why is that? Well, because it makes no sense. For a killer to work for the Chu's is a real honor. And a well-paid honor. They all get rich. You're with them. So why give up your chance? You're right, as a killer. It's good to work for him. Pays better than anything else. But Chu was real unfair to me. He always favored Fu Pai Si. Or else, it was Mr. Lu. I never got the good jobs. Always, I got the crap. I know that he despises me. And what's more, he doesn't trust his men. He never tells them a thing, unless he has to. So if you were me, I'd tell you. You'd betray him. What's more, there's something else. What would that be? Well, once that you've got rid of you and the other two, then all the leaders will be dead. And I'll take control. And you forget me. Do you agree? Oh. So that's the reason you've been helping me. I see. You want to take the leadership. Of course. I planned it for a long time. I didn't help you for nothing. Well, that's fair. Right. I'll forget the past. But now, where can I find the girl? Well, she's being kept prisoner by Sao Si Yi. I'll take you there. And that ought to prove to you that I really am on your side. You're, you're sure that Tang Han has turned traitor? Yes, I am. He's a very smart man. But I'm afraid this time he's been a bit too smart. Mofido. Sir. I'm sure Tang's next step will be to take the one-armed man to Sao Si Yi. You know what to do. Got to him. I'll kill him. Betrayed the clan. I'm sorry. We all have our price. Hmm. And so you're the one who killed my brother. That right? Yes, I did. Where have you got the girl? If you can beat me, you can have the girl. But if you can't, then you'll be dead. Hey! It seems you need a few music lessons.
Where's the girl? Come with me. That's all right. Now you take me to Chu. Hmm. Oh, wait. You shouldn't take her. Me? Why not? Because it's much too dangerous. Chu's tough. Make no mistake. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Then when I throw, I never miss. <gasps> that may be, but the fact is, you've got no knives left now, have you? We'll see. <coughs> 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 If I tell you, then spare me. Let me go. Tell me. Uh, uh, at South Mountain, by the way, Buddha, you you let me go. Is that the truth? Uh, yes, yes, it is. It it's true. Now, please spare my life. Please spare me. You killed my family. You spared no one. Back to the hotel. I'm going for Chu. Wait there. All right. It's you. Hmm, right. So then, you're alive. <laughs> that man that you saw being killed 
was a substitute who was hiding there. Why did you kill Luchata? Well, now, I had no idea why you were after me, so I simply killed him in order to get your trust. After that, you tell me why you wanted to kill me. So then, that story you told me, it was a lie. Why, of course. I'm a very good liar, and you believed every word. You sneaky bastard. <laughs> a killer has got to be sneaky, otherwise he won't survive. You mean to kill me? No, I don't. You're not Chu. Why should I kill you? But I am Chu. Well, Chu has only nine fingers. And you have ten. So you can't be Chu. Chu Chu Chu! Come out! Fire. An attack from behind, eh? I expected better. <laughs> I'm good at it. Must kill you or you kill me. But I'll cut you nine times first. I understand. That's one cut for every man that I killed. So you are Chu, then? Ross! You were wrong. I have nine toes, not nine fingers. <laughs> you killed all of my men, my best fighters. I promise you this, you suffer now! You evil bastard. You're not fit to live. You still talk tough? Damn it, you're dead! I promise you'll die before me. You! Well, that one was for Mofeto. Finished. God, God damn you. May. May you. You really are one, aren't now? When you left. So then, 
as his daughter. I have to get revenge. <gasps> Listen, please tell me, what's your real name? My name is Liu Cheng Yi. 